Okay, pop quiz time. So what does my Lancer have in common with this powered parachute, or this strike, or even this, um, well, whatever that is? Any guesses? Well, that's easy, right? The propeller. Yes, you'd be right. But nope, not what I'm looking for. Dig a little deeper. Ah, the engine, you say. Well, you'd also be right. But not what I'm looking for. What all these sky-loving machines have in common is the almighty fuel. Without fuel, not a single one of these would ever make it off the ground. So after having published my three series of videos on aircraft ownership, one of my subscribers made the comments, no petrol. This got me wondering, hey, whatever happened to the electric airplanes? Hi, I'm Tony and this is HUD Pilot. Today we take a quick look at electric airplanes. Okay, so let me take you back a few years. All the way back to 2009 when I visited the greatest show on earth, Air Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. So I'm walking the grounds and came across the E430, which was developed by a company called Unique. This was the first fully enclosed production all-electric airplane to be certified. The plane had a 45-foot wingspan and almost 23 feet in length. A 40-kilowatt engine would allow a maximum speed of about 93 miles an hour, with an average cruise of about 56 miles an hour. Expected endurance claimed by the company was to be anywhere between 90 minutes and three hours, with an expected initial price of about $90,000. So Oshkosh came and went, and there was a lot of buzz about the airplane for a while. Wherever you looked, you heard about it. But then just like the uh, Honda electric car, it disappeared. Nothing, not a word. Interest in electric planes was sort of officially sparked. There were, of course, a few examples prior to the E430 that were projects that never made it past the prototype stage, but there were also a few, such as the Electravia Electrolyte 2, that did. The Electrolyte 2 was actually a power glider that flew in the early 2000s that featured a 5.5 kilowatt hour engine that produced about 26 horsepower. Initial tests showed that it could stay in the air for about 45 minutes at a speed of 65 knots. The price on this was to be set at around 39,000 US. Then there was the Electra Flyer trike, which appeared around 2008. This was a gas powered trike that was converted to a battery powered engine, which boasted the option of having up to two hours of flight time. This, by the way, was considered a true ultralight and would not require a pilot's license to fly in the US. Okay. Forward to 2010 once more. Along came the mighty Airbus company with their entry into the electric airplane game. Huh? What? Airbus? That plane? Yep. I give you the quad engine Cricri. Not only did this plane run on batteries, but it was also aerobatic. That silly you say? Well, Airbus took it seriously. As a matter of fact, Airbus has been producing electric prototypes all the way to current day, which also included cool planes like the E-Fan, which flew at speeds of about 120 miles an hour. They're also planning on having an all-electric e-aircraft race in 2021, according to the website. In 2011, the Green Flight Challenge was held in Santa Rosa, California. The goal was to build an aircraft which could fly 200 miles in under two hours using the energy equivalent of a gallon of gasoline per passenger. The prize was $1.65 million. The first place winner was Pipistrelle USA, and their aircraft was a four-seat electric-powered aircraft, the Taurus G4, which flew nearly 200 miles non-stop while achieving 403.5 passenger miles per gallon. Unbelievable. In 2017, the Lilium Company presented the world with its all-electric prototype, and in 2019 stepped up its game by coming up with the Lilium Jet. This vertical takeoff jet airplane is scheduled to be released in 2025. The plane will have a six passenger and one pilot seating capacity plus cargo. The plane, which is expected to fly in the air taxi category, will cruise at 175 miles an hour at an altitude of 10,000 feet and have a range of just over 155 miles. The plane is expected to be certified in both Europe and the US. This is definitely one taxi ride I won't pass up on.
And for our last airplane today, we have the Aviation Alice. Alice is expected to find its way into our skies as early as 2022. This plane will be quite the marvel with an expected 220 knot cruising speed with a maximum service ceiling of 32,000 feet and a range of over 440 nautical miles. This plane has a whopping 8,200 pounds of batteries and will have a maximum 14,700 pound takeoff weight and carry a total of nine passengers and two pilots. This plane is expected to become the new quiet commuter alternative of the future. All right, so thanks for joining me one more time on HUD Pilot. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit the little bell for the notifications uh, so you'll be aware of when the next video comes out. And uh, I'm going to get down to business and land this plane. See you on the next one. Really nice.